believe in a perfect creature called God, a perfect entity, a entity which contemplates all possibilities, all ramifications, and makes the perfect decision. But somehow comes along little David Pink, and he's going to whisper or even yell in God's ear and say, but, but what about Rachel? Oh, good point. I hadn't thought of that. It's almost sacrilegious. The idea that my making an appeal can somehow impact a previously perfect judgment. It implies that the judgment before was either less than perfect or God is now rendering something imperfect now because of my fear, either of which is unacceptable. Agreed? Right. Most people don't think of that. Of course, I'm davening because we daven and, we, and Hashem listens to us. Well, what was he doing before? When he rendered the original gezerah or decision, we even say those exact words in the Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur davening, ma'avirin esroah ha-gezerah. We're going to change the bad decree. Who are you? You insignificant bug. You're going to change God's mind? I don't know what kind of God you believe in, but my God doesn't get influenced by extraneous factors. It's a bomb question, which most people never think of. But a small imprint of him was left. Part of that imprint are everywhere that you can see. For example, the imprint on land was left on Eretz Yisrael. The imprint on people was left on humans or Jewish people, depending on which story you're reading. Maybe left on all humans, but on a greater extent on, on, on Jewish people. But that imprint is part of us, and that's what the Ramban is talking about. The Ramban is explaining that we are actually part of Hashem. We are the part of Hashem that can exist in the physical world. Most of Hashem can't exist in the physical. He's not a physical creature. And if he was here, there would be, there'd be no world at all. So he had to shield himself, get himself out of this world, mostly leave an imprint behind or a remnant behind, if you will. And the Ramban says that's humankind as far as what can exist as a being in the, in the physical world. Well, if you take that Ramban a little bit further, we can answer this question that we had a minute ago, which is, why on earth would tefillah work? Because the idea that some small amoeba is having some impact on Hashem is ludicrous. If you actually think about it, sometimes it's easier just not to think about it. But if you take this Ramban, it makes very good sense. Because just like Hashem has the meat of Rachamim and meat of Sajin and meat of Gura, all types of attributes of Hashem, humankind is one of those attributes. We are not some external force trying to impact Hashem. Rather, we're inside. We are part of the Cheshvan. We're part of the accounting and part of the process. Which, I don't know about you, but for me, that forever changed God. I'm no longer an amoeba trying to impact a grand being. I'm now part of the grand being. I'm one of those voices in the head, if you will. It changes everything, the way and, and why our tefillah works. Now, that does mean that we can always carry the day. There are other factors that Hashem considers when He reaches every decision. But we are part